Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Dimco fifth wheel base rail adapter for B&W turnover ball gooseneck trailer hitches. So there's going to be a few different reasons you may find yourself in need for this adapter here. So not everyone wants to use the B&W Companion and if you're not sure what the B&W Companion is, that is the fifth wheel hitch that B&W offers that drops directly into the gooseneck hitch. So that's a great hitch, but it is expensive and it's pretty heavy. So if you have another fifth wheel hitch in mind that you want to use, or probably more commonly, you'll be taking one from a previous chuck and reusing it on your new truck, you're gonna be able to utilize that hitch with this adapter here. So here's what our adapter looks like in use with our fifth wheel hitch installed. Now, granted, yours is probably gonna look a little bit different because we're missing the head on ours. Most fifth wheel hitches allow you to remove the head from the base and the legs to make it easier to get in and out of the truck bed, which is what we've done. But in regards to compatibility, we actually have a set of curt legs here, which is a good thing I really like about the Demco adapter is that it allows you to use pretty much any fifth wheel hitch on the market, so long as it mounts to the above bed industry standard base rail pattern. Granted, most of these do. There are, however, two exceptions that the adapter will not work with. The first one is the BMW Patriot, but only the slider version. This little picture frame here shape that gets in the way of the slider mechanism and therefore is incompatible. The other one we cannot use the adapter with is gonna be the Demco Hijacker Auto Slide. But so long as you don't have either of those two and it mounts to industry standard rails, you're gonna be good to go. So if we take a closer look at the adapter, you're gonna see everything has a nice durable black powder coated finish. It's gonna help protect the uh, adapter from any rust and corrosion issues if we're leaving it in the truck bed. Now, what you're gonna see here, so basically these rails here are gonna be the same rails that you would install normally in your truck bed. They're just attached to a brace which then mounts in the gooseneck hitch opening. We have these same square slots on the outside and we'll talk about this a little bit later, but this is gonna be an industry standard spacing. So you don't need to worry about fifth wheel hitch compatibility so long as it uses that ISR pattern. But the pegs of the legs of our fifth wheel hitch are gonna usually mount in these here. Some of them do mount to these outside ones. And then we have our slots here that we can secure the legs to the base using our pins and clips. So our adapter here, it's gonna fit pretty much flush with the gooseneck hitch. There is a little bit of space between the bottom of the adapter here and the top of our truck bed. Now, this probably isn't enough space if you have a rubber truck bed mat or you have a plastic drop-in liner. But thankfully, due to the internal tightening and loosening mechanism here of this adapter, we're gonna be able to accommodate those truck bed mats and those truck bed liners by making some simple adjustments. So in regards to capacity, we are gonna have a couple limitations here for the adapter. So for starters, we're gonna have a 21,000 gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount we can pull outward on our fully loaded trailer. And we're also gonna have a vertical load rating of 5,250 pounds. Our adapter does have a five-year warranty and it is made right here in the USA. So you know you're getting a quality product. So in regards to installation, yes, this is another step you need to do each time you wanna tow a trailer and install your fifth wheel hitch but that extra step really isn't too much more work. The adapter, it does weigh a little bit, but it's still manageable for one person, but we'll simply drop it in place and tighten our bolt down. It's pretty much that simple. So the first step of our install, we're gonna come into our truck bed here where the center section of our gooseneck hitch is located. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be measuring from the top of the pin here, which is used to secure our accessory to the edge or the top the flush plate here on our gooseneck hitch. So it's gonna be kind of hard to get an exact measurement to the top of this flange here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a straight edge. We're gonna set it on top of the center section of our hitch here. Then we're gonna take a tape measure and we're gonna measure from the top of the pin to the bottom of our straight edge. So for our particular application here, we're gonna be right at one and three quarter inches. So now we can take our adapter out of the box here. I'm gonna put it on a workable surface. We're gonna take the 5 8 inch hex bolt that comes in our kit here. So this is the top of the adapter. We're simply gonna insert that bolt through the center there. And we're just gonna turn it a couple times to engage that sliding portion inside there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and prop the adapter up on its side here. 
We're going to get a 15 16 inch socket ready along the back side. We're going to put that over the bolt head. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a tape measure. We're going to measure from this surface here to the top of this bushing like so. So basically, we want this distance to be 1 16th of an inch less than what we measured earlier. Therefore, we need it to be 1 16th of an inch less than 1 and 3 quarters. So we can tighten and loosen that bolt there to get our measurements to line up. Tightening it is going to bring that bushing closer to the plate here, whereas loosening would push it further back. So you want to double check your measurements here, but it looks like we're just a hair under one and three quarters. So now we're ready to install. So now it's time to get the adapter in our truck bed here. We want to make sure that the rails are running horizontally to the truck bed sides. So what we're going to do now is we're simply going to line up the square here with the opening in our turnover ball. So you will need to have the release pin already pulled before we set it into place. But we're just going to drop it down now. And now we're going to go ahead and check that we can reinstall the locking pin there in the wheel well. If the pin doesn't fully engage, we'll have to make more adjustments here to our bolt head to raise or lower that bushing. So now that we have the locking pin engaged into the adapter here, it's a good idea to go ahead and just pull up to make sure it's nice and tight. But we'll come back with a torque wrench here and we'll torque our bolt here to the amount specified in our instructions. So once we get our bolt torqued down the spec, we're going to take our retainer here. Now one of these should line up with the little notches there. We see that we have the hole there in the plate. And then we're going to take our smaller bolt here that comes in your kit. And we're going to thread that into that hole like so and tighten it down with a 7 16 inch socket. Now this bolt here doesn't have any torque specs, so you just want to tighten it down until it's snug. And now we're ready to mount our favorite fifth wheel hitch. And now all that's left is to simply secure our favorite fifth wheel hitch. And that's going to do it today for our look and installation at the Dimco fifth wheel base rail adapter for B&W turnover ball gooseneck trailer hitches.